this happens to planning with crystal so i'm here for i think it's a third year running unboxing the nespresso advent calendar so this is the nespresso calendar for the virtual machines i will also be unboxing the one for the original line machine that will be coming up in the next couple of days so if you haven't got a virtual machine then just hang on a couple of days and you'll get to see my original line advent calendar unboxing so this particular calendar retails at £38 and it's for the Virtuo machines. If you don't know a lot about the Virtuo Nespresso coffee machines, I have done separate videos where I compare certain ones. We go through the different kind of steps, how to make coffee, how it works, etc. So I'll link some of those at the end of this video if you do want to kind of have a look at the machines and things themselves. I also made a video of the Virtuo cup sizes and then Nespresso changed some of them. Well, one of them, so it's kind of annoying. So they essentially do five different cup sizes the largest one used to be known as an alto dolce or something like that and now they've changed it and made it even bigger and it's now like a cafetiere and i have the cafetiere and i will be bringing you a video showing you how to use the cafetiere my thoughts on the cafetiere and a bit of a kind of review on that but i'm not expecting to find that capsule in here because that capsule only works with the next machine so there's different machines in the range like i said check out the videos if you want to learn more about them Anyway, this is £38, it's a 24 day calendar, it's on sale right now, I'll drop links and everything underneath. In this video I'm going to unbox it for you, I'm going to show you everything that comes inside and I'll tell you about the coffees as we go along, as much as I know about them anyway. So this year is definitely the best year in terms of design. So they've actually got, I think it's an artist to basically draw some nice images they've had printed on the box, so it says Nespresso in collaboration with Joanna Orts. So there's two different colours. The original line one is very similar, but it's like two different shades of green, whereas this one is like a maroon and an orange. But it comes in a box like this, and on the back it tells you not a lot really. It kind of gives you a rough idea of what's inside, but in terms of how many capsules they are and whether they're regular or decaf, it doesn't actually tell you many of the items. So you wouldn't necessarily know unless they had it on display in store exactly what coffees you're going to get. And that might be fine, you might not want to know, but if you're watching this video you probably do want to know, so we're going to obviously explore all of that. So they've put like a cardboard slip in just to kind of help protect day number 24, which is usually a kind of fragile item if you've watched the previous year unboxings. So I'll just take that off because that was just like a protective thing. And then you can see day number 24 is a big box sticking out. I did have a nice coffee prepared to drink along and chat with you about, but I have just knocked it over with the advent calendar. So a little pause while I tidied all that up. I am the most accident prone person ever at times, honestly. So we've got 24 days and we're gonna get right into it. So this is what it looks like inside. There's two sides to it and each door is very much, once you've opened it, that will be it. So it's not like it's refillable or anything like that. And we're gonna start off over here with door number one. Everything is cardboard based, so it should at least be recyclable. On the inside of the door, it actually tells you the name of the coffee and its intensity rating. The intensity just refers to the kind of taste of the coffee and how, I guess, how strong it is. It doesn't refer to the amount of caffeine that's in it. That's not how their rating works. And I know it's a bit of a, kind of confusing point for people watch that i've mentioned it here so day number one and we get intenso so obviously because we're talking virtual machine all of the capsules going to have this barcode on here quite clever on nespresso's part because you have to buy their capsules otherwise it won't work because i don't think you can replicate the barcode I've not looked into it too much but from what i've seen i think that might be part of the reasoning behind this but it does make a lovely coffee so this is a 230 ml or 7.77 fluid ounce size door number two just over here this is a gran lungo and it's called fortardo and it is a 150 ml or 5.07 fluid ounces so this is kind of like double double espresso so it's smaller than like a mug size coffee but it's larger than an espresso or a double espresso coffee Fun fact, Votado was the coffee I was drinking before I spilt it all over the place. So I quite like that blend. Number three. Today we've got Tacanto, which is a strength number five and doesn't tell me anything about it. Now, looking at it, it's gonna be an espresso size, so the smallest 40 mil size by the looks of it. So I'm not quite sure if this is like part of the new range or something Christmassy. 
So I'll put on screen if it is a Christmassy coffee because that's one thing I'm not sure about whether we actually get any Christmassy blends in here. At the time of making the video they haven't actually announced what those Christmassy blends are going to be yet but they have announced a lot of new coffees just recently and they've definitely changed everything up. So it's nice to see something new in there because actually I've tried most of the coffees so this is definitely a nice way to try some others because this is one thing I wish Nespresso would do. Why don't they sell like just an individual coffee capsule so you know if you could like go and buy pick a mix almost try one of everything but you have to buy a box of 10 usually to do that so this is a nice way to try lots of different ones i'll be a more expensive way but we'll talk about that as we go through day number four so today we've got a coffee which is one of my favorites it's from the master origins range and it's the costa rica gran lungo it's 150 mils of 5.07 fluid ounces this is one of my go-to's i have like two or three coffees that are just my kind of constant companions i love to have them in all the time I have them nearly every day this is definitely one of them i just really like the balance and the just kind of whole flavor profile of this coffee is just definitely one of my absolute favorites day number five this is one of my other absolute favorites this is melozio but they've actually given us the decaf version so what they've done is they've removed the sort of standalone decaf coffees we used to have and love and now they've brought out some of the kind of core range the more popular ones like melozio and made them into a decaf form which personally i quite like because i love this coffee this is another of my absolute go-to's so this is mug size which is 230 mils 7.77 fluid ounces and i just I just love this. I drink both this and the Costa Rica with milk usually and I just I just love the blend. It's gorgeous. Number six over here. So today we've got one of the Barista Creations. This is Bianco Forte. It's 230 mils, so a mug size or 7.77 fluid ounces. Now, this isn't one of my favourites. It's designed to be drank with milk. They do this one I think might be the stronger one, and then they do one that's less strong with milk. But they just even though I do drink my coffee with milk sometimes, these just don't hit the mark for me personally, but they're a good one to try if you are into your kind of milk coffees. Day number seven. Today we've got Il Cafe, which I think is one from the new range, and this is a 40 ml or 1.35 fluid ounce size. But yeah, it's a little espresso coffee. Day number eight, just over here. And this is another from the new range. It's called Inzio. I think it's from the new range, but again, doesn't tell me on the back what's in here. So if I had to guess, it looks like a mug sized capsule, which would be like 230 mils. Day number nine. So this is double espresso scuro. So it's not from the new range, but it is double espresso size. So it's an 80 mil size. And it's a nice kind of strong tasting coffee. Best drank black, especially if you like that kind of feeling of a real coffee hit in the morning in terms of taste. Day number 10, just down here. This is another Master Origin, not my favorite, although I did used to quite like it. It's mug sized and it's Columbia. And that one's intensity five. I do find my coffee sort of preferences do change depending on my mood sometimes. The ones I used to like, I don't like anymore. And it just kind of changes. Let me know actually what your favorite coffees are from Nespresso and if they have kind of changed over time. Day number 11. So this is also from Barista Creations. I believe it's part of the core all year round range and it's called Vanilla Custard Pie. I've not tried this one yet, but I have tried like the previous vanilla ones they've done. So this is mug sized. Again, you can drink it with or without milk. The flavored coffees just give you a genuine taste of that flavor without any sweetness or kind of artificialness to it that you get when you add like a syrup or something to your coffee. Number 12. So today we've got another decaf. This is Altissimo Di Caffeinito. So it's another of the kind of core range espresso size, but in a decaf version, which like I said, I like having that option. I do tend to drink coffee in the mornings, but then sometimes I will enjoy one in the afternoon and I don't want a load of caffeine because it might keep me awake. So it is a nice option to have decafs as well. Although when I open this advent calendar in December and I open it in the morning, it's like, okay, so I'm not gonna have decaf first thing in the morning. I'll have something else. I'll enjoy that later. Day number 13. So today we've got Dia Veluto, which is another espresso size from the kind of core range. It's 40 mils or 1.35 fluid ounces. Day number 14. This is another of the core range and it's Stormio and this is 230 mils or 7.77 fluid ounces, so mug sized. And this has got a really kind of rich, strong flavor to it. It's quite a nice one, especially when drank black. Day number 15 up here. This is another of the Barista Creations flavored coffees. This one is Caramel Cookie, which is quite nice. I mean, a name Caramel Cookie you expect it seems to be super sweet, but actually I don't find it too sweet. It's just got a nice kind of caramelly biscuit notes within it. Yeah, it's a really lovely one. 
day number 16. So today we get Voltisso, which is again, I think just from the standard range and it's an espresso sized coffee. There seems to be a lot of espresso sized coffees in here. And I imagine that most of you who have a virtual machine like I do, assuming you have one, if you're watching this video, you're thinking of getting one, have the machine because you like bigger coffees and therefore probably don't buy as many espresso coffees. But then I might be wrong, you might like them all equally. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Um, but yeah, for me, I'm slightly disappointed so far to find so many of the espresso coffees. As well, the espresso coffees are obviously the cheapest in the range. The smaller the coffee, the cheaper it is generally. So there isn't as much value in here. Day number 17. So we've got Fortado, this time in a decaf version. This is the exact one I was drinking when I threw it all over the wall. So this is a Gran Lungo, so 150 mils or 5.07 fluid ounces. The two coffees I find myself using the most at the moment are the mug size, 230 mils, and the Gran Lungo, which is 150 mils, because anything less feels like a really teeny tiny coffee and kind of I drink it too fast and anything bigger seems too much at times so they tend to be the two that I grab for the most um, on a day-to-day -day basis but I do find that one to be a really nice kind of it's a strength eight coffee so it works quite well with milk and it's a really nice coffee day number 18 up here at the top so we've got another master origins this one is Mexico so these are again mug size this is another nice coffee I really like the master origins range and I love going online and reading a little bit about each coffee where it's from etc i just find that quite interesting so yeah mexico day number 19 another from the kind of core range and this one is double espresso chairo and it's 80 mils or 2.7 fluid ounces not one i would reach for very much i find these almost a little too strong and again i think they're more intended to be drank black and just not the ones i would usually go for but that's one great thing about the calendars it does give you that opportunity to try a coffee that day that you wouldn't otherwise have in and maybe rediscover some like new favorites day number 20. so today we've got altiso which is another espresso coffee 40 mils are 1.35 fluid ounces so we talked about this before when we got it in the decaf version it's a nice espresso coffee it's i'm just feeling like there's a lot of espresso sizes in here so far i'll wait till i've unboxed it all before i give you my kind of thoughts on this year's calendar day number 21 so this is melozio and it's 230 mils or 7.77 fluid ounces like i said one of my absolute favorites that i reach for in the morning it's usually this one or the costa rican coffee they're the two like i said I tend to have on a daily basis so I'm happy to have another one of those in there. Day number 22. And this is Orafio, which is another espresso sized coffee. So I think this might be from the new range. Day number 23. So this is another of the barista creations. This one is Bianca Legario. And I believe this is the other one in the milk recipe range of um, coffees that they do in barista creations. So day number 24, Christmas Eve and the last box or day in the calendar because it is actually a box it's in the middle here and you just pull out the whole box and it's quite heavy so this is generally the most exciting item that you find in here and we have got a full sized mug so this is from the lumi or lume range i think it's pronounced so they usually sell this mug size in this exact cup for 20 pounds for two so this one cup will be worth 10 pounds so it's a good size being a mug size because it's going to fit all of the coffees in the box which makes sense and this is actually made from porcelain but it's got a kind of matte finish on the outside and it's quite shiny inside and it's just got like a flat lip going around i actually already have these cups in the grand lungo size and i quite like them i find them a nice quality uh, cup obviously go with any decor etc with them being white there's also a little leaflet in here about the lume collection last year it was one of the see-through mugs which i think are my favorite um but this year that is what we're getting so it is a nice one to finish on it's obviously the most exciting thing in the calendar my thoughts on this calendar and i'd love to know your thoughts whether this is just my opinion or whether the majority agree or not so i'm not offended either way i'm just curious but i think with this calendar rather than just seeing coffee capsules and a mug at the end it would be really nice if they included like some of the biscuits they do some of the chocolates they do i'm not suggesting don't have coffee and just have one kind of coffee uh, one chocolate square or something but they could do a coffee and a chocolate square or a coffee and one of the little biscuits they do they're all individually wrapped so it wouldn't be difficult for them to do that and it would introduce you to kind of more of the range and be a little bit more exciting but that's just my kind of thoughts on it so let me know yours um 
it feels like they've played it a little bit safe. Love the kind of colour and stuff of the box. It's quite nice, different, exciting. But I just feel like they've not really done anything different for many other years. If anything, it almost feels like a little bit of a step back because this year we're not getting any of the Christmas blends, which I don't really understand. And there's a lot of espressos, which seems a little odd in the virtual range when there's so many bigger coffees and things that you can get. And like I said, that tends to be most people's preferences, unless the intention with the calendar is to get you to drink more espressos. I have no idea. I don't know where they stand on what sells best, etc. But yeah, I'm not thrilled with this year's calendar. Um, so it's £38. You can get a discount on it if you have a higher level of membership, like I have got a higher level of membership because I've been purchasing coffee from them for a long time and I buy a lot of coffee from them, so I get a 20% discount on the calendar. But let's just assume you're paying £38, the cup's worth £10, so you're paying £28 for 23 coffee capsules, which if you bought two boxes, which would be like 20 capsules of most of them in store, you're probably going to pay £10 or less. So it's probably maybe £12, £10, £11, £12 worth of coffee um, and the mug. So you are paying more because it's a calendar, but I kind of expect that you get that with chocolate calendars and certain other calendars as well. So I've not got too much of an issue with that. I just think there's so much more that they could do with this calendar and they just don't seem to have done it and it's a shame. It'll be interesting to see what the original line calendar's like. I suspect it's going to be kind of similar. I can't imagine it's too dissimilar, but we will see when we get to it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see what the original line advent calendar is like this year. If you want to go back and revisit 2020, 2019, etc., I'll link some and put the links and stuff underneath. So if you do want to kind of check and compare, then by all means do that. So I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up, it lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Like I said, the original line advent calendar unboxing should be going live in the next couple of days, so look out for that. Let me know in the comments as well if you will be buying this calendar or if not, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments whether you are going to pick up this calendar, whether you've ordered it already, or whether I've put you off. I'm just curious what everyone else thinks. Or are you really happy with the contents and I'm just asking or wanting that little bit too much? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!